Right Honorable Speaker, the Chief Justice, Honorable Ministers, the clergy, Honorable Members of Parliament, fellow mourners. This is my third time to be here. I want to thank everybody. Those who have been here since when we got bad news of our brother's death. I've, be, I've been here many times and I think I have exhausted what I want to tell the nation about our brother, apart from one thing. When I became Prime Minister, I got an opportunity to fly to Guru, to fly to Papuach, and then to Lira, then Soroti on the same day. So when I came back, I went to the Speaker's office. I had two questions to ask him. Right Honorable Speaker, I have got an opportunity to fly over other areas in the, in the, in the country. But I saw that the people of northern Uganda are still poor. What is it that you want me to do now that I'm in this chair and you are in that chair so that we can, both of us, help solve that problem? Where is the problem? He beat me here and said, my sister, it's a long story. We need to educate our people to come out of the past. That's what he told him. Secondly, he said, you can only see the money of northern Uganda in our towns. I said, what do you mean? I said, you can sit in Guru Sit. You can sit in Lira but you cannot sit in the villages. I said, why? He says, we have a role to play. We have to help our people come up out of poverty through sensitization, not handouts. So, fellow mourners, the right honorable Jacob Olanya wanted us to sensitize his people. It's not that these people have not yet been helped. They have, but they need to be sensitized to be able to come out of poverty and that is a fact and therefore my 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 senior colleague and our chief justice we can only do one thing to sensitize our people this is what he had told me he was going to do because handouts do not help anybody to come out of poverty that's the only message i've not talked about here and therefore i want to take this opportunity to thank all mourners, all those who contributed to his life, everybody here. My people of Kakumiro are grieving. They send you condolences. We want to thank the president, like everybody has done. We want to thank everybody, the family members. We know what you are going to you are going through now. You have our support. We shall support you in whatever way. Fellow mourners, allow me to invite the Chief Justice to say a word or two. We have been here many times with him. Thank you so much. May your soul rest in eternal peace, brother. <laughs>